several years, Chris Hill was a marketing consultant for top Fortune 500 brands. Then he decided to follow his heart. He became a chef, restaurant owner, and author. He wrote Making the Cut, What Separates the Best from the Rest, offering advice on how to make it in the restaurant industry. Chef Chris shares with me one of his favorite southern dishes, shrimp and grits. Chris, we are making shrimp and grits, one of my favorite all-time dishes. What do we have to do? How can I help you? Well, you're a good company. One of my favorites, too, uh, being from the South. You're going to be in charge of this big pot, which we're going to put the grits in. Okay. So if you want, go ahead and um, we're going to throw about half of this carton of the chicken broth in there. And I'm going to put this on like a medium-high heat or so. All right. So half of it. Yep. Just do the, the, the greens. Not the stems. Not, not the stems, exactly. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here, chopping up about a quarter of a cup of the deli onion. I have three pieces of bacon. So now I'm gonna go ahead and chop up this pepper, about a quarter of a cup. Now this bacon, you can see it's starting to get kind of crispy and some of the oil is popping out of it. We're gonna go ahead and add this quarter cup of pepper and onion to it. And no garlic. Oh, uh, we have garlic. We'll go ahead and add your parsley, except for just a little bit of it. We'll use some of that for a garnish. Okay. Just keep a little bit for a little pinch on top. How your uh, how's your chicken broth looking? Oh, actually, it's boiling. All right, cool. Go ahead and add the. Here you go. Actually, I'll hand this over to you. That goes in here. One cup of grits. Stir and pour. Stir and pour. And then once it comes back up to a boil, we're gonna turn it down to like a medium low. Let's add a little bit of salt to that. All right. Okay. We're gonna do a little bit of pepper as well. Wow, the consistency of this is perfect. Now go ahead and add two oh. cups. You tell me when. Um. That's probably good, right about there. Right. Yep, now stir that together. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of white wine. Or is it a oh, half of a cup nice. of white wine? So I'm, I'm gonna get the juice of a half of a lemon here. I think you're, I mean, maybe I'm crazy, but this looks pretty ready to me. Okay, go ahead and add the butter to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this small pot started. This is, we're gonna create a roux in here, which is a butter flour mixture. Uh -huh. So I have this one tablespoon of butter, I'm sorry, two tablespoons of butter melted down here in the pan. I add one tablespoon of flour. So this is how you make a roux. A roux, exactly. All right, so once that melt, butter's melted nicely, go ahead and add the cheese. I can go ahead and add a little bit of cayenne pepper here. A little bit of hot sauce. So we're just gonna go ahead and add this butter flour mixture into there. The heavy cream. A couple tablespoons here at the end. All right, now? Now we have the shrimp. So you're gonna grab the end like this and just kind of pull the outer piece around. Uh -huh. And you're off the hook because we're actually gonna only peel it down to the very, almost the end and right. keep the tails on just well, like that. Well, at least they don't have eyes. You didn't give me any shrimp with that's, eyes. That's right. I'm gonna go ahead and get this off the heat now. Oh. Put it on the warming zone here. And we're just gonna add these shrimp right in here. Oh. And they'll start to get pink. You mean the shrimp can cook by itself just in the sauce? Absolutely. So like I said, as we're starting to get pink, once they're pink, they're done. And we're essentially done here. All we have to do is uh, plate Eat them it. up. Nice and delicious and creamy. And finish those off with a little bit of your parsley. Shrimp and grits, here we come. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite. Good job. Well, good job to you. I love it for brunch, I love it for dinner. It's one of those, you can even heat it up the next morning, it's delicious, so I uh, can't get wrong. Absolutely perfection. You were actually in the corporate world, marketing, and you left it all behind. You gave it all up, and your family thought you'd lost your mind. Mm -hmm. Did you have that moment that aha moment where you thought, Chris, I'm done with this. 
And what was that aha moment for you? My mom died when I was 14. That helped really put you know, life and death and you only hear for a certain amount of time into perspective for me. So I knew that I didn't want to look back at 60 or 70 and, and think, you know, should have, could have. And yeah, and this is what you ended up doing with it. So I, uh, yeah, I um, took a chance and uh, I'm glad that I did. I moved up to Virginia from Atlanta to uh, work with my cousin who had some restaurants. That was a, a really fortunate thing for me because he had these restaurants. I was able to kind of follow him around which uh, gave me access to like, the numbers and the books and things like that where you know, if you get hired by someone else, you're not gonna get to see a lot of that kind of stuff. So for me, it was, it was great to learn, uh, really hands-on, and then he and I ended up opening a restaurant together. I, I sold my share in that. You know, I, I figured I can either make food for 100 or 200 people a day or I can uh, be the coach. And um, I mean, I became the coach younger than most people are, but I can be the coach and kind of help people uh, to understand their careers better and how they can become successful and so what would be your advice to people the lesson you learn and then the advice to you would give to young people you know I think you know, having had to deal with my the, the situation with my mom being sick for so long as, as a adolescent that definitely prepared me for for the challenges I would face in the business world I knew resiliency unlike anyone else that I had known at that point I think for me you know the first three years the restaurant was open didn't make a dime we uh, were able to pay off all the debt and everything, but still you, know, you have to pay the bills. So I ended up working you know, 100 hour weeks, grinding, 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 and found a way to make it work. But it was, uh, I, th I think most people in the industry that I'm in um, aren't willing to put in the time, the effort, and the commitment to really become successful. And I think if anything, uh, the advice I would give is, is you have to keep working even when things go wrong.